What's up everyone? Welcome to Max Extreme Fishing Outdoors. Today I guess we are doing something really extreme. I'm in my favorite beaver pond and I've done a bunch of videos on this beaver pond. It is a flowing water so we can't call it a creek or a little small river. Um, it's got some really good current in it. It's shallow. It might be three foot deep in most places but it's got some holes that are seven, ten foot deep. Today I'm fishing with a frog. That's going to be good for bass or bow fin. And then for panfish, I'm going to throw a trout magnet. I also brought a little five-gallon aquarium. Um, there's a lot of yellow perch. There's flyer brim here, which this is the farthest west they're found in North Carolina. Um, so I'm going to try to get some of those in the aquarium and show them to you. The heat index today is like 107. Only an idiot or somebody that loves to fish would be out here today. And don't say nothing, Steve, about that, which one of those categories I fall into. Let me show you something a little trick I do. I freeze Gatorade and water, and I got another drink in there too. That way I don't have to put ice in my little cooler. But anyway, nothing like a good Gatorade. It's kind of slushy because this thing will start to melt um, when it's really hot. So stay hydrated. Uh, but anyway, let's get busy. Let's get out there and catch the fish. Hope I don't have a heat stroke, um, and I'll see you in a second on the water. There he is. Good fish. There he is. Good fish. Got one on the frog, guys. Got one on the frog right there, guys. Nice little fish. Got him. He's good. Let's get him back in the water. He's good. I can see him all the way over there. The water's so clear. That's about the fourth cast, maybe fifth cast. I had one hit on the first cast. Um, like I said, this is a real shallow beaver pond. Um, might, it's probably average is three foot deep, but it's got some seven foot holes in it, ten foot holes in it. Maybe some four and five foot holes here and there, but most of it's shallow. Uh, let's do one more cast here, see if we can get another one. There went a duck. Some boys up there were scouting for ducks. That I, the guy was waiting on his buddy, had a kayak. I told him this place, you don't want a duck on it. Just too many people in here done. Hardly nobody fishes this, but it is eat up with duck cars in the winter. Okay guys, I'm going to check the water temperature. It's showing us like 92 right here. It feels hotter than that. We're going to put that right there and check the water temperature. Okay guys, the water temperature is... It's like 84. It's like 84 degrees. You know, just when I get out here, it's going to start to rain. And I'm holding a graphite rod. All right. Nothing hit it in that hole right there. So we're gonna go straight to the trout magnet. We had to get up a little bit. Oh, 
There you go. Oh, that's what we're wanting right there, guys. A yellow perch. A yellow perch. Put in there. See when we get a flyer. God, I had something. Here we go. It's a little brim. There we go. There we go. Nice fish. Oh, war mouth. Oh, whoo, I about lost him. I caught him in the thumb on the way down. Warm out to put in there. Let's see, we get one more. I don't want to get too many in there. That's a good little warm out. We got a perch, got a little brim. All right, let's get these back in the water. See if I can grab them. I didn't even bring them. He about jumped out. There he goes. Nice warm mouth. He trying to jump out. Little brim. Nice little yellow perch. It's so good. I just gotta dump this water out. There's something. First cast. All right, we got a brim. Got another brim. Another little brim. Another yellow perch. Got another yellow perch, guys.
Alright. Guys, no more catch a bunch of crap in here. Hadn't caught the first crappie yet. Maybe this is one. Maybe this is one. No, it's another brim. I don't need another brim. Here's something. This might be a crabby. No, it's another brim. Hi, right, Brim. This happened to me last year, this spot. Just beautiful North Carolina summers just turned to thunderstorms quick. Ooh, ooh, this is a nice fish right here, guys. Nice fish. Oh, little bass. Little bass, don't come on. Little bass, but good one on two pound line. Little bass, but good one on two pound line. Yeah, we'll take him. This feels like a crab. Ah, oh, it's another bass. He jumped good. Another little bass. Where's my crabby at? There he is. There he is. Another little bass. I knew that was a little bass. I saw him hit before. Fun stuff on the ultralight two pound test. You know, guys, it's, it's not always about catching monster fish, it's just having fun. I'd be having a blast if I weren't worried about all these storms around me. Right there, guys. Look at that. Look at that one. That's a nice one right there. Okay, right, we're gonna put him in there. Oh okay, god, he about jumped out. Guys, I don't guess I'm gonna wait on a crappie to put in there. Maybe I'll find one in another hole down here. So I'm gonna film these and let them go. Okay, guys, there's a yellow perch. There's a bass. Look at him, he's got good colors. I got a big warm mouth over here. You can see him. Yeah, he's coming out now. There we go. Got a couple of brim in there. Nice fish. Look at his red eyes on him. Hope I don't drop this camera. This camera cost me a lot and I broke the first one. All right, let's get these out of here. There we go. Big wool mouth. 
starting to rain. Large mouth. Brim. Another little bass. Little brim. And a yellow perch. Guys, it looks really bad behind me. So I'm going to call a butt. I appreciate y'all guys watching. Uh, let me know what you think about these uh, videos with the aquarium. Um, I might do it other places. Might try to catch a red fin pickerel at one place I know. Put them in there. But let me know how you like it. Do me a favor, guys. Hit the subscribe button. It's going to be somewhere right in there. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.